Hello everyone, welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. We already have a car, we're ready to go, that's right, we have some control issues, we've already identified our two problems, we just have a sway bar, rear end link, and an inner tie rod, so let's look here on the front. Um, I definitely don't remember off the top of my head what I need to do to fix these, um, but it should come back to me pretty quickly. I don't even know if we have to take off the wheel for this one, but it's looking like it um, because it's connected to this knuckle. So yes, I think we have to go here. So let's quickly take these off. We'll actually get to level three once we turn this car in, I'm pretty sure. Um, take all this brake stuff off. I don't know what just happened. Um, lost a little control there. Brake pad off. Disc off. Wheel hub off. Oh wait. What? Oh yeah, okay. Take all this stuff off now. We, what am I missing? Okay. So we got the bearing. Hub. Then the knuckle. Can you imagine being a mechanic? Ugh. And doing this in real life where it actually takes a lot of time. There. Now we can get the outer tie rod. Just for just for one little guy. And then the inner tie rod. Oh man. And now we can go get the part. But first, let's look at the other part that needs replaced, which is the sway bar end link. And I am completely forgetting. There's the sway bar. I know that. Why am I forgetting how to just move my camera? Oh, okay, there we go. No, okay. Um, sway bar and link. Let's go into overview, overview mode, or examine mode. And we should see... Like a red part. Um, I don't think it's back. Is that it? Is it on the back? It does say... Yeah, it says, if I actually read the words, sway bar rear end link. Is that... Okay. I didn't... Uh, put that together very well. So we're on the rear, there's the muffler, and we're over here. It's kind of weird to move around. And it's right there. Sway bar, rear end link. Um, again, I think we have to take the wheel off. I'm trying to get a closer look. Okay. Oop. A lot of work for two little things. But that's why we're in the business. And to level up. Mostly to level up. Bearing. Okay. Where is it? Okay, we got access to that. Okay. Let's go buy our parts. I wonder if I took off more than I needed to. Eh, if I did, I did. So we need, I already forgot, a rear sway bar rear end link and an inner tie rod. Inner tie rod. So we'll go to the main shop. Tie rod. Search. Inner tie rod. And sway bar. Sway bar rear end link. So far so good. We just gotta throw these back in the old machine. Stitch her up. And we'll be good. Part mount. We 
wish we could hire workers in this game. It's like, hey, take that wheel off. Unscrew the screws. I just don't want to anymore. Now I'm looking forward to the 100% screw upgrade. Getting greedy. Well, there's one little tiny part. And... We'll fix this front end and then we can make some money. There better be a high labor cost for this one. With all this unscrewing we gotta do. And then we'll uh, get a pick a perk, or a, that's what I'm calling them, a skill thing. Get to go to the toolbox. Don't forget the bearing, disc, pad, caliper. We'll get very used to this process. Anytime we work under the car, it seems like we always have to take the wheels off. Um, now I'm, I'm missing something. Did I take the axle off? Yeah. There. That's it! Quick repair. And... Let's check the status. Good, good. We're gonna make... We did all that work took two tires off and we're only gonna make like forty dollars we might not even level up okay we leveled up at least but what a waste I would have charged three thousand for that we'll just try another of many reasons I'm not in the business of being a mechanic uh, the, the the main one being I can't I don't have the skill set um, I've tried. I failed. Okay, so 50% faster part examination. I don't even know what that means. I don't even know what how much time it takes because I... Yeah, I don't know what that means. So, 50% faster part installing and removing. That's probably pretty good. Don't care about walking. Don't care about the shops. So we are going to install and remove faster. Devs, if you're watching, put an L there. It's bothering me. But of course, I can get over it. And I'm over it. So, let's go remove and install parts faster. This is going to be great. Check our phone. Kind of just blends in. I'm really bad at finding this. Okay. We have... Uh, this sign, this symbol, oh, gear problems, and brake problems. Gear problems might just be like a gear box. Well, we haven't done gear, gear stuff. Um, ooh, look at this truck. Um, let's do this truck, that's cool. A green, cool truck. Yeah. Pick order. Let's fix some gears. So we'll put her on the lift. I wonder if there's a test we can do for her. Oh, it tells me everything it needs, and it needs a lot. Wow, is there anything under the hood? Um, possibly these caps. I always forget if the caps are removed from the front. So they're right there, accessible from wheel side. So the answer to that is no. Um, these should be in the back, I believe. Nope. Okay. All under the car. Lots of. So this one should make us a lot of money because this one's kind of a mess. Let's go sell old... What is this case? I do want to open the case. What is this? What? T 
two things right now that I am... One... Spell words correctly. It's a great game. It's really fun gameplay. Polish it. Okay. Completing. Great. Moving on. Uh, did I just open a loot box in Car Mechanic Simulator 2018 without, like, knowing it? So I have a... I don't know. I don't know what just happened. But... I guess if it's just collected in the game, and I just get free stuff. Like, free good stuff. Hmm. That's weird. I did not know that was part of this. I hope you can't purchase them with real money. That would bother me. Oh, look, there's like a jobs number here. I'd never even noticed that. That was weird. That was uh, a little weird. That. Okay, let's buy all our parts. There are a lot. So we need one, two, three, three rubber bushings. This is where the tablet would come in handy. Rubber. I think just three regular ones, right? Perfect. We need... Um, double wishbone shock absorber and a front shock absorbing cap. Any other absorbers? Yeah. Rear shock absorber B. Am I going to remember that? Rear B. Front cap. Double wishbone. I might forget some of that. But let's type in the word absorber. Rear shock absorber B. Need a couple of those bad boys. Front shock absorber cap and a wishbone. Double wishbone shock absorber. Rear? Front? All right. Double wish. Yep. Good, good. Bottom suspension arm. Okay. This is quite the list. Bottom. Um. Leaf spring U bolt. And we need one, two. Three leaf spring U bolts, two leaf springs, and two plates. Three bolts, two springs, two plates. Three bolts, three bolts, two plates, two springs, three bolts. Ooh. Not done yet. Um, the nice thing is that once we take the car apart, we can just throw these back in. Uh, we need a leaf spring rear drive axle. Solid rear drive axle. Rear axle knuckle housing B. So if I type in axle, knuckle housing B, rear drive solid, leaf spring rear drive. Let's see what happens when I type in axle. That was gonna happen. Um, I already forgot everything. Rear axe. Can't do it. Oh. What is this? Huh. It's interesting. Okay. So. Leaf spring rear drive, solid rear drive, rear axle knuckle B. Okay, rear axle knuckle housing B, rear drive, and leaf drive, leaf spring drive, leaf spring rear drive axle. It's a pricey part. Okay. Shopping has ceased. We have finished. So, that side, and basically the entire back. There's your leaf spring right there. Um, let's work on the front first, and basically, uh, wait, what am I, I don't want this, no. 
to me. Okay. So let's take off the shock absorber. Uh, I was hoping we could... Um, man, I think we're going to have to take this knuckle off. And the sway bar front end link. Oh no. Ooh. Well, that was nice. Okay. So, is there anything else here? That might be. Oh, see that little guy right there? Little red, red thing poking up? That's a bad bushing. 10%. Uh, let's check our other one over here. Um, it looks like it's fine. And if we do our overview... Oh, why does it do that? That should be good. The other two bushings are probably part of this here. Nope. Okay. <sighs> this one's going to need... Probably the tires off, but let's see what we can do without doing that first. So we got our bolts and our plates. We'll just kind of keep this. There's our fuel pump, I believe. Yep. Um, do the same thing over here. Get our bolts, get our plate. I think I need to turn off the... Oh, I can't change settings right now. Um, one setting I need to change is the, like, automatic zoom-in setting. So let's get this pushing. Yeah, see how it, like, pops in and out like that? Uh, I think there's a setting I can turn that off. So basically I can just work and have complete control over what's happening instead of right now where I feel like I'm getting like pushed around basically. Uh, so I will change that after today's episode because I that has to be super... If it's jarring to me who's in control, it has to be jarring to you guys. Um, so I do apologize. I haven't felt... I haven't noticed it so badly until today. Um, yeah, that needs to change. Now now that I've now that I mentioned it, you're, it's going to drive everyone even more crazy, but it will get fixed by next episode. It's kind of crazy you can't change settings um, from within the game. So there is our leaf stuff. But because we need to, well, we need to replace this knuckle housing. We need to replace this axle. We're going to have to take the tires off, probably even the drive shaft. Um, but we'll save that for last. This is when I wish there was like a, a perk that's like remove wheel, like just instantaneously breaks it all down. There's just all these little parts. Um, but that's okay. We just gotta get used to it because it is a large part of the game. That might be good enough. No, because I need this knuckle housing. There we go. And symmetricalize it over here. Or maybe a sym symmetry perk. Like you hit a button and uh, whatever you do on one side, it just does the exact, like it mirrors, like a mirror perk. That'd be neat. That'd be really, that'd be a really neat perk, I think. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? It would enhance my personal experience. Okay, like I said, basically the entire back wheel workings we just removed. Let's put them back on, except they'll be shinier and prettier and work better. This is going to be fantastic. Uh, this is the best part. When everything is just nice looking. Um, yeah, we can put our springs, 
our absorbers. I'm not quite done with the springs. Let's put the bushings in because I'll always forget those. Especially back here on the springs. Small little guys. See, that mirror perk would be pretty sweet right now. Okay, so I'm going to slow down the camera again while we finish out these leaf springs since this is uh, new to this series, this leaf action stuff. So I'll show me putting it back together. Uh, basically, it's the spring, the plate, and then you put the two bolts on the side. Um, nothing too tricky. I also think I forgot to buy a part. Um, so I wanted to stop and double check that. I should be everything back here, except over, if I can get my way over here, um, the solid rear drive axle is in bad shape, so I think I was supposed to dry, uh, buy two, and I didn't. So let's go ahead and do that. Solid rear, or I bought the wrong one. I may have bought the rear drive axle, uh, is probably what I did, instead of the solid rear drive axle, because they're different. I just learned. Um, my bad. That's probably what I did. Uh oh. Oh. Part mount. There's our shiny one. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. Let's put together the front, which is this wishbone setup. Uh, you can probably see why. It's called that, um, based on the shape, bottom suspension arm with a rubber bushing. Ooh, that's really nice. That is really nice. Um, in the last game, 2015, you had to like manually install all the bushings again. Kind of like I had to do with the leaf springs. Uh, and it was just, it wasn't a big deal, but you always had to like hunt for them a little bit. Kind of like this. That was, that was pretty slick. It was a really slick addition. Okay, so we need to remove... Oh, this is like one part we have to... Oh, we're... Okay, so we need to go find a... Part... Take a parter. Um... So these, this is our tire stuff. And here's our thing. I don't... Spring puller. Separate parts. Please. Um, take parts. Join parts. Yep. 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 Ooh. This is new, uh, that's for sure. Yeah, in uh, 2015, you just threw them back in the car. No problem. Um, I guess... This is, this makes, I don't know. I'll have to look up how this works. If it like, I wonder if the human hand isn't strong enough. I don't want to use this to like uh, actually push down this string. If you have to have a machine do it, I, I'll have to look it up. Um, I'm just making assumptions right now. A lot of buttons to click to do things sometimes and put this last part in. That should be it. I, oh, nope. I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay. Let's see what I missed. Nothing, of course. We are making $3,000. That's, well, we're making like $1,400 because we spent $1,400 just buying parts because, wow, that was a lot of parts and a lot of expensive parts. Finish order. We're less than 100 away from level 4. Man, I love the progression pace. And that's going to be a day. Um, that was a lot of work. That was a lot of moving parts. Um, I'm going to go fix the zoom in, zoom out thing. So that is gone for the next episode. And we will continue 
building our shop and whatnot next episode. So thanks so much for joining me. Hope you enjoyed. Have yourselves a very nice day.